Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at using gradients and uh, some of the things you can do with them. A gradient, very simply, is if you go to this little tool over here called the Gradient Tool, and we click on that, if I draw directly on here, it will cover up everything which is there. So I clearly don't want to do this, but just showing what it is. You draw a line and it'll default going from starting at white and going to grey, but you can change the colour of either end. So if I click on that end there, that starts off at white, but I can make that any colour I like. Then I click the other end, and I can make that any colour I like as well. There's a little tiny line in the middle, I can move that backwards and forwards, and I can even click on here, and add extra points and change the colour of those if I want to. And then I can move these round. If I'm doing it like this, by the way, you could be very careful because if I click somewhere else and then click back again on here, I can't change it. I'd have to start again. But never mind. But let's go down to the history here, we'll rewind it at the beginning and do something useful with it here. So first of all, I'm going to use the select tool Selection brush, snap to edges, soft edges there, and I'm going to go around the edge of this. And around here, then hold down the Alt key. I could click subtract, but I'll leave it on add. And click there, make sure I've got both things selected, then click refine. And then there's a bit there, and a white square bracket to make the brush a little bit bigger, then paint in those areas there, so you can see through that. And this bit up here, it's not quite got, so I'll paint over that. And there you go, it's got it. So I'll apply that. Now what I'm going to do, perhaps unusually, I'm going to hit the delete key. So if I hit delete, I've actually poked a hole in the picture. So that checkerboard, which means there's nothing underneath it. I'm going to select and deselect. Or hit Control D so I don't need the marching ants anymore. But what I wanted to do is put a new sky in there, because the last one was just white and it was overexposed and so on. So what I'm going to do is go down to here and say Add Pixel Layer, which I could also go from Layer, New Layer up there. It's the same thing. So let's go down here. I like using the things down here because you tend to look at this layer panel a lot. And let's put a new pixel layer above here and I'm going to call that sky. And what I'm going to do here is put some sky in here. So I go to the gradient tool there. And I start at the top here and drag down and click on the top one and make that a nice sky colour. I'll do something like that. And then this grades down to here. And I could leave that grey or I could make it white. But before I do that, let's have a look here. If I bring, instead of having that up there, drag this down underneath. And look, see it's filled in. That area in the sky here, because I've poked a hole in it from the top layer here, it's now appearing underneath. So it's covering it up. Now I can do this a bit more sensibly. So I'll click on that bottom layer. Let's make that white so that looks a little bit better. And you can click on that centre one and kind of play with that. So I can change the colours of either end quite easily there. Add more points, but that looks kind of OK. If I tilt it a little bit here, then I get that sort of like natural white of the horizon, but I've filled in the bits over there. So there we go. And now if I want to, I can do things like, let's get rid of those things by using the hand and go to the background here and say, let's make this brighter. So I'm going to go from here to curves and I pull this up. And that's brightened up the buildings, but it's also brightened the sky. Because I want to make these a group. So I click on the top one, then shift click on the bottom one and then a, turn that into a group and hit Control G or I could right click 
and do group that way. So now that curves only applies to the buildings and the sky see here. And I could even do something else. So I click on the background there, go down here, go to HSL and say let's make this a little bit more saturated, bring the colours out a little bit more. There we go. I've literally changed that from the original like this, see burnt out sky a bit dull, to something that's a bit more fun. If I don't like the colours I can still always go back and change them again. That's it and thank you very much for watching.